Okay, I've been playing this video for more than a year now, but this is how I turn my home study from this into this. Let's go. Okay, so I love all things home design. I grew up watching shows like Extreme Home Makeover, and now I watch a lot of Netflix and YouTube videos like Property Limbrothers, for example. Maybe you guys might remember Groom My Room too. But yeah, I grew up loving architecture and interior design stuff, so when Circuit Breaker hit, I knew I had a chance to kind of revamp my own study area as well as my bedroom, which I'll probably show in a second video. For reference, this is how my home study used to look for the last like 8 years, and I guess it just got very cramped and worn out because the furniture was really peeling off. So for this video, I'm going to show how I plan out the room design and the furniture I got for this room. And since for most of you, majority of school is still going to be online, maybe you may want to consider spicing up your workstation. So this is my productive desk setup for students and content creators. And for those who are moving to hall, maybe this is for you to think about ways that you can improve the decorations in your hall room. When I was in Tamasic Hall, I used to go a bit crazy with the interior design and decorations in my room. So some of my friends used to call my room the IKEA showcase. But yeah, feel free to draw any ideas from this video. And yeah, let's bring you back to how the room used to look like. So back then, this home office had three tables for my family to work at. This room was an open balcony that we closed off to create an extra room space. And I'm so happy we did that because we have huge windows to make the room very bright. We had quite a few cupboards to fill the room too, so maybe that's why the space looked a little bit cramped. A lot of the furniture was also white and the paint was peeling off, so it was time for a revamp. So this is how I thought the room can be better changed. Since three tables seemed a little bit cramped, we decided to replace it with two long tables that could also be standing desk. We also thought that one cupboard and cabinet on either side with each corner being filled with a plant to make it more homey was probably the way to go. And for extra storage, we were planning to put some drawers under the table. That way the space didn't feel as cramped but had enough storage. For the standing desk, there were a few options we were thinking of but because it was a little bit expensive, we decided to buy a kitchen tabletop from IKEA and bought the standing legs separately then DIY'd it together. We then bought the cupboards and I just slowly built them myself. Then came the arranging of items and cleaning because the area gets dusty pretty fast, so I kind of have to clean often. But yes, without further ado, this is how my productive work setup looks like. Let's go. Starting with the tables, the kitchen tabletops were the Calbi worktop in the walnut colour from IKEA and we got the wider version for maximum real estate. I'm going to be mentioning IKEA, IKEA or IKEA very often because I really love that brand. For the legs, they were from this local company called Take A Seat and we just got the black metal legs and DIY'd it together. There's up to three presets that you can set and I just mainly use the first two for sitting and standing. I'm sitting for many hours because of school and work from home internships so it was really important to have that flexibility for me. Under the tables are our Alex drawers from IKEA that we mainly use for storage. Inside stores all my accessories, hard drives, notebooks and other peripherals that I use on a daily basis and I store them in boxes from IKEA as well. I got the white ones because I thought since most of our furniture is going to be different wood tones, I still wanted something to match our white windows so there will be some colour balancing going on. On the left we have the mom chest drawer in the oak finishing that we also got from IKEA. This one houses all our stationery, papers, wires and our printers. We used to have the same one in a white finishing but for those who plan to get that, do note that they yellow over time and some of the paint will chip off so it isn't really great for the long term. On the right we have the Fiabo metal cabinet that we use for our art materials and some old study notes that we kept. And yes you've guessed it, it's from IKEA. On top we just have an old lamp that I spray painted matte black to match the aesthetic as well as the Sonos wireless speaker for an alternative speaker source. We used the woven baskets as our storage for all the art supplies and we also got some file organizers for our notes and all of them are from IKEA. And to give the space more life, I got some plants for both corners. I mixed a couple of real and fake plants so I don't have to take care of that many because I'm struggling to make sure that my real plants don't die out. We also have a desktop and HP PC on the other table that acts as our family computer, which is hooked up to a JBL speaker. Usually this is untouched, but sometimes you use it if anyone in the family needs a second monitor screen. So now let's talk about the setup itself. My 
My main workhorse computer is the 2017 MacBook Pro in silver, and I've been using this since before uni for my photo and video work and now for school. My laptop sits on the silver Bistan monitor stand, and I use this as my second screen mainly. My main screen is the Prism Plus 34-inch ultra-wide monitor at 100Hz, paired with the Stealth Arc monitor arm. I got this on a huge sale last year, and I've been addicted to the absolutely unnecessary and super wide real estate on this screen. It has allowed me to work faster on my videos and work, and it has two little USB ports for additional connections. I especially love my current wallpaper, which is an artwork done by my friend Kenneth. So do watch this space because I'm working on something with Kenneth, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. The audio is hooked up to this set of Logitech speakers for the music fan in me. My house is filled with so many speakers that it's getting a little bit crazy, but it's always great to blast music while I'm at home. For my keyboard and mouse, I use all Apple products, so the Magic Keyboard, Mouse and Trackpad, partially because I got these for free back then on the previous internship. I'm super sucked into the Apple ecosystem, but these products have worked extremely well for me in my productive workflow. At night, I use this cheap LED light strip that I got on Shopee behind my desk for some neon lights, giving my desk setup a very different vibe from daytime. Given that I do work and edit too late at night, having a cozy workstation with Spotify on really hits the spot. For headphones, I switch between my GoTo AirPods Pro for everyday travel, the One More Triple Driver noise cancelling earphones for music, which I got before my pods, and this Plantronics headphones that I use occasionally for full sound design of my videos. To connect my hard drives and SD cards to my computer, I use this Mokin adapter that supports HDMI, SD cards, USB and USB-C connections. This also includes my Samsung T7 1GB SSD, which I use mainly for editing work because it's so damn fast, I wish I'd gotten it sooner. I'll also link all these tech accessories in the description box below if you're interested. To record this ASMR audio, I use the original Blue Yeti USB microphone, which I got many years ago when I was interested in recording music. It's a super great microphone that works for voiceovers, interviews and even music recordings. And to keep everything really organised, I purchased the Bistom cable management tray from IKEA, alongside this plastic rubber tubing to make sure that all my cables are neat and out of sight. Lastly, I have the 2020 iPad Air in sky blue, and I use this mainly for note taking on the app Good Notes, alongside my other favourite apps like Notion, Procreate, Netflix, and YouTube. For my chair, I use a simple black mesh Casa office chair from a local company Comfort Design. It has served me well in the last year, but I just got tempted and ordered an Ergo Tune chair, so I'm looking forward to that as well. You can also fill up your space with home diffusers and candles, and I put them at the corner of my desk whenever I want to use them. Add some mini succulents and other decorations, and you got yourself your own special workspace. You can also consider adding artworks to your wall, but for me since I mainly face windows, I get to see the outside as my natural art, but it does get pretty hot sometimes when the sun is up. So yeah, that's pretty much how my home study or home office looks like. I've added all the items with the links in the description box, so feel free to check it out. I'm pretty much in this room all the time when I'm at home, so I'm quite happy that I have a workspace now that I'm very comfortable in. So yeah, this is my productive desk setup, and I hope it encourages you guys to create a space for yourself that you like as well. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.